Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is for you. I'm glad you're joining me today for a thrift with me. I am just heading out now and I'm actually doing a solo thrift shop adventure today. Danny is staying home with Silas, which doesn't happen very often. Usually he is with me when I'm out and about, which I love, don't get me wrong. It is so fun having him tag along. But every once in a while, it's nice to just go on your own, especially for something like thrifting when you have to dig through items and sometimes it just takes a bit of time. And it's a fun thing for me to do by myself and with you because I'm glad you're here to join me. There's nothing super specific that I need or I'm looking for. This is more of a fun, almost like window shopping, but if we find some good deals, I will definitely consider buying some things. There are a couple things that I'm looking for Danny's first birthday party. I just sort of have a mental list of things that I look for when we're thrifting. Things I've been looking for for months or even years. I look in the baby clothes, books, home decor, and homeware section. And that's one of the things I love about thrifting is you just never know what you're going to find. So stay tuned to the end of this video to see what I do end up picking up, if anything. I also love thrifting because it saves money, but if I'm buying a bunch of stuff just for the sake of buying things, then that's very counterproductive and not actually saving money. So I try to be really selective when I'm thrifting, even if some things are a good deal, if we don't really like need it or have a use for it oftentimes the best thing to do is to just leave it. So a lot of what I share, I probably won't end up picking up, but again, stay tuned to the end of this video to see what I actually do find. I will share all that with you later on in this video. All right, I only have a couple hours before I need to get home and start dinner prep, so let's go ahead and get started. While thrifting is something that I enjoy now, it's something that I used to think was kind of weird or even gross and I didn't really try it for quite a long time. It's really only been in the last few years that I've considered myself a serious thrifter and I really wanted to start thrifting to save money, especially once getting married and having a home to furnish and decorate. And maybe you find yourself in a similar position. A tip that I have is to just focus on one section. For me, that section is baskets. When I first started thrifting, I would just pop in every now and again and look at the baskets, maybe the books, and then slowly over time I've sort of added to my collection or my routine of areas to look in. And now I'll go in the wood section and on this day I even checked the curtains, which I don't think I had done before, but we have a couple places in our home that I would like to freshen up with some different curtains and those are so expensive new. And so I thought mm, maybe I should should thrift a pair. These um, lights that I saw were also really cool looking, but we didn't need them. This shelf I spotted and I actually sent a picture to my cousin because I was wondering if she would want it but I didn't put it in my cart and then when I came back for it it was gone <laughs> someone else had taken it I also saw this one which was cute but I'm not a huge fan of the hearts and I did thrift a few shelves recently but those are always a great thing to look out for as well as picture frames I did get a couple on this day and they actually had a number of great options. I loved these paintings. These are by a lady called Trisha Romance and my mom had some of her paintings growing up. I thought these ones were really sweet with the children and just looked so cozy. It definitely reminded me of the simple motherhood days, kind of the season that I'm in now, but I did leave them for somebody else. Thank you. 
Because I thrift to save money where I can, it's important that I am doing that and not just buying things for the sake of buying things like I was mentioning earlier. So something that I look for is first the quality of the pieces. I check to make sure pieces are intact, that there aren't scratches. Picture frames, a lot of times the backings can be kind of messed up and so I look for good quality items as well as their usefulness. I don't want to just fill our home with items that we don't use, that we don't have a purpose for. Like this little toy car I thought was so cute. It was interesting that it had square wheels, but I just got a bunch of wooden vehicles for Danny, so we didn't need that one. I did end up getting this jar because I know that I will use this in my kitchen. But I do want to be really intentional about the items that I buy, even when thrifting. Even if it's a great deal, I want to make sure that it's useful and that I have thought about it in the past. So if I just see something that looks great, but... It's something that I haven't really thought about before, then I probably shouldn't get it. Something I have been looking for are some mixing bowls. I always check the bowl section and this one I thought was a great size, but truthfully I wasn't a huge fan of the pattern, so I didn't take it home with me, but Maybe I should have because it was a really great bowl and it was in good condition, but I also like to make sure that I really, really like the items that I'm bringing home because if not, then I'll probably just end up getting rid of them one day. <laughs> This jar I thought would be great for putting like coffee syrups in and then this little set of Peter Rabbit, it was a little mug and a little dish, was so cute. I think I had some Peter Rabbit dishes when I was a kid so it was very nostalgic seeing this in the store but I didn't take it home with me because we really didn't have a need for it. When we first got married, I was all about the color rust and I got many things to decorate our home in rust and so it's kind of takes me back to that time. I still like the color but it's not something that I necessarily gravitate towards anymore. I always check the clothing section. I usually don't have much luck here and today was no different. I didn't end up finding anything but it's always a good idea to at least take a peek because you never know when you might find something. This day I wanted to check out the bed sheets because I had this idea to thrift a flat bed sheet for a tablecloth for Danny's birthday party. Tablecloths are expensive and we don't really have one suitable for an outside table. So I took a look but I didn't see any that I really really liked. There were some that were okay but I didn't end up getting any. Little nativity scene that you just saw, I did end up taking. It was only a dollar forty nine, and I thought it would be great to add to our Christmas decor collection. This was in my cart and then I realized that I just didn't really need it so I did put it back on the shelf and then I saw these fun cookbooks. I'm pretty sure that my mom had some cookbooks like these. I flipped through them to see if they were of interest but I really just don't need any more cookbooks. I have a few that I like and then I use Pinterest for a lot of other recipes.
Well, the very next day, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law were visiting us and we ended up popping into a little antique store that I've been to a few times before. It is so fun to look around and a lot of the things like this table I thought was really neat would be so fun to refinish. There were a lot of great furniture pieces. This hutch was also so beautiful. I have been dreaming about a hutch like this to put toys in or to even have for like craft supplies one day. So it was so fun looking around. I am sensing that my style is slowly turning to be a little bit more vintage. I don't think I'll fully have a vintage style, but it is something that I'm gravitating towards for some things. I think it's kind of a mix of like farmhouse, vintage, I'm not sure, but this bench I thought was really cool. And again, this corner hutch, I love just all the white dishes, the pictures, primitive pieces are so fun. I think they just add a lot of texture and coziness. This table was so cute. I just really enjoy looking around and getting some inspiration from antique stores like this one. to share with you. Like I said, I was not really looking for much on the days that I went thrifting, but I did manage to snag some really great finds and I'm excited to share them with you. So first up is this cool mirror. This was one that I saw. I noticed it, didn't put it in my cart, but then I came back for it and I'll share the prices of each piece that I got. So this one was $5.49 and keep in mind that's Canadian. So if you're in the States, then that price is even cheaper because of the exchange rate, but it has this really um, cool wood grain frame and I thought it would be really fun to actually paint it. So I'm thinking I'm going to paint it black and then do like a brass sort of gold um, texture over top of it to make it kind of look more vintage and just to add some texture. I don't love the orangey wood. It's not super orange, but that's my plan for this piece. And I think I'm going to put it in our guest bathroom. That's what I thought when I saw it. I've been wanting to get a different mirror there. And so this was a great find. And then of course, I also love that it's the arch shape because arches are really in. So I think with a little bit of DIY, add some texture, I think it could be a really, really fun piece. All right, next up is something a little bit different. I picked up this teddy bear cake pan. There was a bunch of cake pans and I wonder if someone just donated like all their cake things. Maybe they don't use them anymore. But as you can see, it's a set of four teddy bears and I got this because for Danny's first birthday, we're doing a teddy bear themed birthday party and I've only just started sort of planning. It's not gonna be anything crazy, but I thought having something like this would be fun to make some little teddy bear shaped cakes, like almost like cupcakes, or I was thinking I could even do cookies in them. I'm not too sure, but whatever I do, it'll turn out like little teddy bears. So I thought that was really cute. And this was $4.49. Well, I did get a couple of picture frames. I always look through the picture frame section. I got this one that has a pretty gold edging. That's what really grabbed my attention. It's a little bit of an odd size. It's 10 by 13 inches, but it's actually gonna be perfect for putting our calendar in. I had this idea to put our calendar in a frame because I think it just makes it look a little bit more finished. And our calendar is just one that like you flip and the pages are always like coming off the wall, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't stay flat against the wall and it sort of bothers me. So I think putting it in a frame will just make it look complete and add some fun detail. Another little frame I picked up is this little gold one. I have been really drawn to little gold frames, especially oval ones. They didn't have any ovals, but this one 
I thought would be fun to maybe add to our gallery wall here. But it does also have the little stand at the back so I could put it on a shelf. I have a couple different ideas for this one. Oh, but I should have mentioned the prices. So the larger one was $3.99 and this little one was $2.99. I got a mason jar for $1.49. This is the perfect size for my pickles that I have been making here at home. I usually make enough for like two, I think it's 16 ounce jars, which I have quite a few of. And that's the only size I have. So I wanted a bigger one so that I can put all of my pickles in a larger jar. I don't think I've ever thrifted a jar before, but this one, it was in such good condition. I already put it through the dishwasher and I am definitely going to keep my eye out for jars in the future. They didn't have too much as far as baby clothes, but I did find this super cute little shirt. This is originally from H&M. It is this little gingham pattern. I'm all about gingham these days, and so this immediately caught my eye. The size is 12 months, so I'm hoping that this will be a good fit for the fall once it starts to cool off, and the price was $2.29. You cannot beat that. It's so, so cute. This little piece is technically a knickknack, which I don't usually buy or even look at in thrift stores, but it caught my eye because it's a little nativity scene for Christmas. I was debating back and forth, and then I was like, you know what, it is only $1.49. And I have had a really hard time finding nativities. I got one last Christmas that's a wooden one, but I love the idea of just having a small one on a shelf or even to put in Danny's room as a little decor reminder for him of the true meaning of Christmas. And so this one was really cute and I love the details of the stones and the leaves on top. And again, it's just very simple, classic looking. And so I'm excited to add this to our Christmas decor collection. All right, this next find was possibly my favorite, or at least the one that I was most excited about finding. It's this book called Goodbye Autumn, Hello Winter. And I have looked at these books before. I looked at the one for Goodbye Winter, Hello Spring. I didn't end up getting it, but I was familiar with these books. I think that they're great. They're so fun for introducing seasons. And it's in such good condition. Truthfully, it looks brand new the pages are in wonderful condition usually for books like this that come with a book jacket i do actually take off the jacket and just toss it because i just prefer the look of just the regular hardcover and i mean look at the quality of this it looks so good it looks brand new and i don't know if you'll believe what price i got it for because i didn't believe it when i saw it this book was one dollar and 29 cents and here in canada it retails for 24.99 so i mean you do the math but i saved a ton and i'm so thrilled to add it to our seasonal book collection i love getting books for the different seasons all right last but not least i got another basket i know i know i have so many baskets but truthfully i was thinking of adding a basket like this to our closet to go up above on the top shelf just for storing different items in and this one was $4.99 and a little tip for you is to know your thrift stores if you enjoy thrifting figure out what stores have the best prices because i saw a basket almost identical to this at a different thrift store like within the last week and it was like 13 or 14 dollars I didn't get it because I just thought that's a lot for a basket. I, I think it was even a little bit smaller than this one. So when I saw this for five bucks, I knew that was a great deal. And the size is quite large, which is awesome for storing different clothing, like seasonal clothing. There's a few different things that I could put in here in our closet. I could even use it for a laundry basket. I love these for laundry baskets. They just add a touch of coziness. And so I'm really excited about that find as well. Well, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoy filming and putting together these thrift videos. So let me know if it's something that you enjoy too. And I would appreciate it so much if you would like this video, even leave a comment. Those little things truly help out my channel so much. And I'm so grateful for your support and encouragement and for spending some time with me here today. And as always, I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.